Hello, greetings everyone. Today myself Sabrina on the behalf of my whole team would like to represent my paper which is multimodal assembled to classify acute lymphoblastic leukemia in blood smear images. Now what is leukemia? It is known as the malignancy of the WBCs, the white blood cells in our body such that the abnormal cells, the cells which have no use on their own, these overnumber the regular cells, the normal cells. Now, in context to hematology, how is it detected? The first step is that the blood sample is taken from a human body and then a corresponding blood, cell, blood slide is prepared. After that, an expert observes the slide under a microscope and then he takes the final decision whether the human has leukemia or not. If we talk about the con context of machine learning, we will see how the leukemia is checked. The first two steps are the same. The blood sample is taken and the blood slide is prepared. Now we have several images for the blood slide and which is known as the image data set. On the basis of the image data set, what we do is we try to extract the features from the various images. We have several features from those images such as the statical features, color features, the texture features and we number these accordingly. After that, some particular features are selected and on the basis of the final feature selection, a classification result is produced. So it is produced by a machine and the final decision is taken whether the human has leukemia or not. Now various challenges were faced during the process. We need a human to, to do all this process for the process of feature extraction and the selection in machine learning. And these had to be hand coded as per the domain and the data type. And number two challenge was the complex pattern which we faced at the microscopic level. Number third was the scenario when we have huge amounts of data and the machine learning models they failed to classify them. Now for the experimentation the data set and the hardware used are the CNMC data set is used which consists of around 15,000 images and this data set is a part of all challenge of ISBI which took place in 2019. Now implementation of all these experiments have been done in PyTorch which is an open resource machine learning library using the GPU which has 12 GB RAM. Now what is the proposed solution to all the challenges we faced? The proposed solution is the use of deep learning and the pre-trained models. Under the deep learning, we have used convolutional neural networks to train our all data set. Now models were not trained from scratch, rather the pre-trained models on ImageNet were used as a part of experimentation such that the blades of various layers are initialized properly. Once the pre-trained model were used, these were later fine-tuned as per the requirement of our data set. Now these are the three base models that we use. The first one is VGG11, the second is ShuffleNet V2 and the third one is ResNet18. It is to be noted that we have experimented other models also but these three were found to be the best models and have fitted our data set the best. Now there were various reasons why we have chosen these models. We can see the VGG11 is a very simple model which consists of 11 layers only. And in the ShuffleNet V2, what we have, it is a very lightweight model and it is known for its property of dealing with the bottlenecks. The uses of pointwise convolution makes it very efficient in detecting all the features in the image. The last one, ResNet18, it consists of residual blocks so that we can have skip connections in between the networks also and we can pass the data easily between the layers. The final process was to weight these models and after various experimentations 
the weights which were used was VGG 11 was given 0.4 weight. It means its results are used 40% of the time. And ResNet 18 was given the maximum weight which is 0.5. And the ShuffleNet was given the lowest weight that is 0.1. Assemble model was formed using these three models and which led to the final output. And these are the results and we can see that assemble model has performed the best for all the uh, performance matrices. And this is the conclusion and future work that we have concluded. Although the proposed model it performed many of the state of art methods that have been used, yet the performance is still not par to be used practically. Since the accuracy is low for the class which has lower number of samples, it is advised to focus on the data balancing problem which can be observed here. The all accuracy is high because the more number of samples we had was of all and zero hem this category had less number of samples so we want to focus on data balancing problem in the future. And we also want to focus on the lightweight model such as DenseNet, SqueezeNet so that the model can also be employed using less computational resources and we can have such mobile based applications also. Thank you so much.